guys, Rebecca Cruz here, your director of fun. Welcome back to another edition of the Fun Report. I hope everybody had a fantastic Labor Day weekend, but the fun has not ended yet. Plenty to get out and see and do this weekend in and around the Chattanooga area, so let's get started. Okay, first up, of course, Nightfall Concert Series continues its 21st annual series of free concerts over at Miller Plaza this Friday. This Friday's headliner is going to be country rock artist Carlene Carter. By the way, a little side note, that is the daughter of June Cash Carter, very musically talented legend herself. So this should be a great show. Actually opening up is Roger Allen Wade at 7 p.m., followed by Carlene Carter at 8 p.m. Of course, we have the entire remainder of the Nightfall series lineup right here on the slideshow, right here on the homepage. This Saturday, you can race for a great cause at the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera's annual 5K Classic Run this Saturday, September 12th, of course. Registration kicks off at 7 a.m. More information for you on getting registered right here in the special events section. This Saturday, the Association for Visual Arts actually kicks off their fourth annual Downtown Gallery Hub. While many galleries across the area will be open and free to the public, Public. Also, many artists across the area will actually open up their studios as well. So this is a great time to really get out and see some of our local artists and their incredible arts. This is free and open to the public. More information for you in the special events section. The Friends of the Festival announced the return of Riverfront Nights Concert Series returns to Ross's Landing, of course, this Saturday. This Saturday is going to be an incredible show and free, of course, and open to the public. It's going to be opened up by Lefty Williams, who is actually a one-armed, incredible blues guitarist. He will amaze you with his talent. He'll be kicking off the show at 7 p.m., followed by legend Webb Wilder, who will hit the stage about 8 p.m. This, again, is a free show for everyone everyone and just an incredible incredible place right there on the waterfront to enjoy a fun evening out this Saturday. The remainder of the concert series throughout September is right here on the slideshow if you want to check that out and we'll see you down there on Saturday. The Chattanooga Market of course returns to the First Tennessee Pavilion this Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is a free event and fun for the entire family. This Sunday's theme is the Chattanooga Auto Show. So there'll be, well, as you can imagine, there'll be automobiles on display throughout the Tennessee Pavilion and also of course what you're used to and fresh produce and handmade crafts and items and fun for fun activities for the kids as well as music throughout the afternoon on the EPB live show stage. More information for you in the special events section. With fall right around the corner, it's perfect timing for the Mayfield Farm and Nursery to reopen their corn maze. This will be fun, and they're going to really make a big deal out of it this Monday, starting at about 4 p.m. with a lot of activities for the kids and food and fun. And then, of course, the actual grand opening of the maze. More information for you in the special events section. The Comedy Catch, of course, presents the return of Open Mic Night with our own fantastic comedian and host, Eric Foster, this Monday, September 14th at the Comedy Catch, kicking off at 7 p.m. All the information you need right here in the special events section. The Bar Nurseries and Jim Webster hosts the return of the Lana's Love Foundation Golf Tournament this Tuesday, September 15th at Winstone Golf course that kicks off at 11:30 a.m. and this of course is a fundraiser for Lana's Love Foundation, a great cause that raises money to help out families with children who are suffering from cancer. More information for you right here in the special events section. Well hey guys that's it for this week's edition of the Farm Report. Of course tune back in next week where you'll find out about all the activities and festivities you absolutely positively don't want to miss right here on ChattanoogaHasFun.com, your official site for fun.